being praised. It's the praise that calls heaven to open and the power of God to come down. It's the praise that calls God to start moving on our behalf. Sometimes don't pray through it, which prayer is always good. Don't fight through it. Praise through it. Praise through it. Amen. Find a song. Find a scripture. Just open up your mouth and begin to adore him and give him praise because we've got to learn how to praise through this. This is one of those situations that we can't always open up a book. You can't find the five tape. Uh, the, five, the five points in the poem, you can't find the three tape series. It's about opening up our mouth and giving God that sacrifice of a praise. Amen. Can I hear somebody just say, thank you, Lord? Thank, thank you, Lord. I'll say it like you mean it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you Lord. Is he worthy to be praised? Yes. That's why it's a sacrifice. But the rewards are so great and so powerful because we now get to a point like David come right before the very presence of God and allow God to begin to move over our life. Let's look at Mary, then I'm going to sit down and think. Luke chapter 1, Christmas is about to come up here real soon. You see a young lady who did something with her lifestyle that caught the attention of God. Her lifestyle was a praise unto God to the degree that an angel came down and began to speak to her about verse 30 and said, Hail, beloved Mary, you have found favor with God. And that is just a praise in itself. Amen. Our lifestyle was such a way that God found favor with how we live, how we present ourselves, how we carry ourselves, that we found favor with God. I want to be in that particular point. He says, you found favor. <clears throat> I want to get to that particular place. No matter what he's doing, he come out of his busy schedule to come and visit me and said, you found favor. She didn't sing. I don't see her giving the offering. I don't see her doing anything special. But her lifestyle pleased God in such a way, he said, now I'm going to let my Holy Spirit overshadow you. Overshadow you. Now think about that for a moment, basking in the power and the presence of the Holy Spirit to the degree that his spirit overshadows us. He overshadows us. And if we look at the word correctly, he should be overshadowing us every day. Because every step that we should be moving and walking in should be filled by the Holy Spirit. Everything that we do should be directed by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is that catalyst that gives us power here on earth. The Holy Spirit is that thing that's like an umbilical cord that I spoke not long ago that connects us right to the throne of God. The Holy Spirit puts us in a place where we can see visions and signs and wonders. The Holy Spirit is the one that allows us to know that God's working on the inside. Amen. That right there by itself brings praise out. Amen. That right there by itself brings praises out. Because we get to a point in the midst of our lifestyle I want you to live, not just with your mouth. I want your lifestyle to be filled with praise. Thanksgiving. Glory and honor to our Lord because you're happy that you've been able to connect with him in the first place. You're happy that he looked down and picked you out of the midst of our mess and called us to be in the family. You're happy because when he should have rejected us and rejected us, he came and loved us and put his arms around us and brought us into the family. We should be happy without this knowledge of no matter what takes place. We know that God still loves us. He's still blessing us. He's still bringing us in the midst of the family. He's still trying to make a way for us. He's still trying to speak to us. He's still trying to open up the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing that we have not yet received. He's still <clears throat> trying to do some wonderful, awesome, magnificent, magnificent, let's get talking here. I sound like Sylvester the Cat. Magnificent things in the midst of our life. <clears throat> so let's do some praise living, not just praise giving. Let's live like we're thankful. <clears throat> let's present ourselves to him like he can come and say, I like your lifestyle. I'm going to show you favor. Let's live in such a way that we can have an open heaven so he can connect with us in such a way that we can hear his voice. And when we hear his voice, do we now be the vessel that he wants us to be in the first place? Let's live in such a way that he says, this is my son, my daughter, and who I am well pleased because their lifestyle blessed me. Their lifestyle praised me the lifestyle got my attention. Amen. And I'm always looking to get the attention of God on a regular basis. So one last time, let's give him a great, wonderful, and awesome praise. Go ahead and look up your boys and give him some praise. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, you can praise the Lord. He's been blessed. Brother Matthew is worthy, worthy of all praise. Worthy of all praise. So we go before the throne of God today. We're going to go before him with our praise. Our lifestyle, our heart, our mind, 
the way that we present ourselves is going to be a praise unto God. I just hear a little bit of song. You know, I can't sing this thing. So let me get to see the help. And I know Manny will join in. It says, come, let us adore him. Come, let us adore him. Come, let us adore him. What's his name? Christ. Christ. I, know, I know it's a Christmas song that we're going to sing today. Just this part right there. Oh, come, let us adore him. <clears throat> Lord, we're worthy. 